Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of my favorite Class C motorhomes of all time. This is a 2022 Integra Coach Odyssey Model 25R. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Odyssey and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's World's Only Channel, giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at one of the best designed limited motorhomes, and you don't see a ton of these at all. It's super popular and nice, the Odyssey 25R. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going? It's going we're getting a little bit of rain here, you guys. So yes. Uh, bear with us. But I do want to say congratulations to the Gianetto family and the King family. They have just bought this beautiful Odyssey. Yes. And you know, this was one of Matt, this is one of our favorite floor plans. Yes. Here. So the Gianetto family, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, they ordered this one. They're picking it up in Utah. And the King family got this one. And here's the thing both of them had to order it because. That's how these units are. You won't see these on dealership lots. You will have to order one, which is super exciting. Uh, this one will be here for a few days if you want to come down and see it. But Andrea, let's begin. Model is Odyssey 25R. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 28 feet, eight inches. This is the Integra Odyssey. What we love about these motorhomes is the nice fiberglass front cap does have a beautiful windshield. I love that windshield. And when we say it's a seamless fiberglass front cap, what we mean is the seams actually underneath the bunk over the cab, not right here. So it's less vulnerable, less likely to get a leak. It is powered on the E450 chassis. That means it does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Dre. They're the they're the hand cooks. Dyna Pros. LT 225-75 R16 with shiny rims right there. Here we do have mirrors. Okay. And then check this out. New for 2021 and 2022. Integra added their side cameras. So now you have left side, right side, and a reverse camera as well. Because of the Integra motorhome. It does come with the two-year warranty, three-year structural, which is very nice. And we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Andrea, let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Great, check that out. Very nice power awning with LED lights. Right over here is your propane tank. And Andrea right here. Bing. That's all the specs of this motorhome. Lengths, tank sizes, widths, everything. So people can see who are watching on TV. We also have that information down in the description below. Matt, you forgot the outdoor speakers. Would you look at that? Speakers on the outside. What I love about this awning as well is it's going the whole length of the motorhome. Yes, it's a good size awning. Right here we do have storage. Very nice. I love this cable right here. Making sure that it's not swinging down on the ground or whatever. White water heater right here. Okay, they could have done the decals. Yep. Um, but still, it looks nice. And then check this out. TV on the outside. Oh, man, we got TV on as well. TV on the outside. Insignia. Very nice right there. And then more storage right here. Now, this, this motorhome is a tailgate machine. Because you got the TV on the outside. Because you have a nice big awning, you take this to a football game or whatever. And check this out. Oh. It's a Class C motorhome with an outside kitchen. Wait, I'm so, okay, it's been so long since we've seen a 25R. Has it always had the outside kitchen? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, we got a little mini fridge on the outside there. Nice little countertop area. Suburban oh. cooktop, very nice. And then check this out. A sink that's actually plumbed through. Wow. I love that. This really makes it 
one of the best motorhomes. Absolutely. And you have a propane quick connect right there for BYOG. Do you know what that stands for? Bring your own grill. Yeah, I didn't even <laughs> tell you. So Basil made that up yesterday when we recorded. All right, coming around the back, which I think Deborah King bought from Basil. Kind of coincidence. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for you, stinky slinky. 7,500 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 7,500 pounds. And Andre, I know a lot of people are thinking right now, well, hang on a second. That outdoor kitchen's taking up a lot of its storage space. Check this out. <gasps> you still have wow. a ton, a ton of storage right there. That's awesome. Really nice feature right there. I absolutely love that. And backup camera right there. Also, we do have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. Matt, I don't know if it's a good idea that you walk up there. It wasn't it's just raining. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof. One AC unit, 30 amp motor home. Right there's your wine guard digital antenna. We have two openings from here. Okay, Matt, hold on. Here we go now. Take your time. Here we go. All right, last step. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen's taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what feature the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up, outdoor shower right here. A Little bit more storage, you can never have enough. Ooh. Oh, okay, well, hang on a second. The heck? So that's just the controls, but where's the, oh. Okay, you hook up the water here, and then you control where it goes. Right there's the black and gray tank dump. And here's where you hook up your water, your city water connection, black tank flush, potable water fill. Potable, potable. Here's your fuel fill up. 30 amp power cord goes right there. Right here's your own and 4,000 generator. We love this, gives it good airflow. And then here, Andrea, more storage. Great storage on here for as small as it is. Well, Andrea, as the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Check it out now. All right. CCC cargo carrying capacity, 2,513 pounds. Wow. Okay. Here we are, everybody. Love that window right there. <laughs> okay, so here we are with the slide in. I yeah. love this. I love this floor plan. Look at this. Look at all this walkway that I have. Plenty of space. Plenty of space to walk through and go right to the bathroom. And then as you can see, you got the corner bed there. And I'm liking I always, I don't know if I've seen the two-toned in this floor plan before. No, not in this floor plan. This looks nice. It does look nice. The balances and everything. <laughs> okay, Andrea, we're starting up front. Um, up front here, the cockpit area is so new for 2021 and 2022. Uh, these seats do swivel around to become part of the living area. Yay! Also forgot to mention, this does have auto leveling. Awesome. That is an option that the King family decided to get with this. So that's very nice. Right up here, we do have a nice steering wheel, 7.3 liter V8, everything super nice. Right here, this has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so it connects to your phone. Big 8.95 inch screen, camera, so you're able to see everything, it's so nice. Cup holders here. Andrea, would you like to sit in my co-captain seat? Yes, okay. Cruising down the highway. Looking for adventure. Wow, okay, this is nice, you guys. Very comfortable. I am really liking that the seats do swivel. Yes. That, oh my goodness, it just makes it so much more spacious in here and more seating. It's crazy because it's so, it's such a little motorhome. Yes, not only that. I can't that, get over that. This reclines back and there's nothing behind right. there. So it's really, really nice. We do have a bunk over the cab. And it holds 750 pounds. 750. 
Okay. Oh, look at this. I love, look at that. When you're sitting up in here, if you're in the bunk, you have room yes. to actually sit up. Yes. There's so much space right there. And check this out. You have a nice big windshield as well. It's so nice. Cup holders right there, power and USB and everything. Now, Andrea, Cubbies. you might notice something might appear that is missing up here. Hmm. Do you know what that is? There's no TV up here. Oh, yeah. The reason why is because this has a prime television viewing position. We're going to skip this real quick. Normally, in small Class C motorhomes, your sofa's right here and your TV's in the bunk over the cab. In this one, how it's laid out, your sofa is directly across from your entertainment center. I love that feature. It's Andre, a big, big, big TV, TV, too. Huge. Something happens here. Oh, my oh. goodness. Oh, oh, look at that. Secret storage. Wow, on both sides. Secret storage. See? Yeah. Very nice. Wow. Right, and then it clips in like that. You got storage right there. And a little bit of storage right there. Very nice. It is. And I, then, think, I think the last time I seen this, I had it was with theater seating. That is an option, yes. Theater seating is an option. Right here, we do have storage above. Love the light above the slide. I love the balances. I think they look fantastic. Mm -hmm. What do you think? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do like the balances. There's your blinds right there with windows. And I'm going to make this into a we bed. We have a jackknife sofa. Is it a jackknife? Let me see. Yep. Jackknife sofa, just like that. But it is, again, I'm going to say this. It is a very comfortable sofa, and you have a prime television viewing position. And then right over here, Andrea, the dinette. Nice big window. The dinette does chop down to make a bed. Cup holders as well. And then Andrea. Oh, I got something to say. So Cody from Integra called me. Mm-hmm. Okay, they didn't do it yet, but he did say that they are going to be oh. adding piano hinges. Yay! So about time. I said, where's Thank my, you guys. I said, where's my two cents royalty? <laughs> and, Finally. And then we just did the Vision 27A, and he said that that was a mistake, that it had a plastic toilet, that they're all going to be porcelain toilets from here on out. Oh, my just saying See you guys I'm, I'm just saying guys we're changing the industry yes we are so make sure you guys are leaving that com your feedback and commenting well Andre, do you know what time it is it's now time for the msrp <laughs> msrp on this motorhome here is one hundred twenty five thousand nine hundred and four dollars andrea MSRP. Sale price. Do you see a sale price right there? I do not. No, because again, guys, with the way the RV market is right now, this video is going to be the only video for the next year on the 25R, and the prices keep fluctuating and going up. But Andrea, we do have a sale price, and the King family and the other family, do you remember the one? Giannetto. The Giannetto. Yep, family. They did not pay 125 They got the best price in America. And Andrea, if somebody wants to get the best price in America on an Integra, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you will see three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this motorhome or any motorhome, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV, and a member of my team will get you your Mac cash and the best price in America. If you're not ready to buy this motorhome, perfect. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both me and Will, and we're here to help answer questions for you to get you ready to buy a motorhome. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Andrea, doesn't matter if it's tab three, two, or one. Doesn't matter if you work with my internet team or if you print out your Mac cash coupon and bring it to the store with you. What's the one thing you'll always get? The best price in America. One last thing. The Odyssey 26M, we have a floor plan on model here at General RV in Ocala. So if you're interested in any Odyssey, you're able to see that one, test drive that one, and then the floor plan's kind of you know, they're, sim they're the same but different. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it's a great way for you to get a feel for how it looks and actually get in there and test drive it. Yep, Andrea, 
Let's continue right. the video. So I do see a cabinet up here. Okay. There's your panels, you guys. Look, Very there's nice. There's another cabinet down here. Oh, secret storage. Oh, wow, that's a big one. Too. Yeah. Okay. Here is the kitchen. I am noticing some different, different interiors in here. I like this with the shelf. Yeah. Got a nice window here. Oh. Uh, tower of power. Hey, now, that's a nice tower of power <laughs> right there. All right, we have the double sink here. Yes. With the cutting board. Yes, and Andrea. Yes. The farmhouse has been around for a little over a year now, but is that a new backsplash? It is. It is. I, it I looks like snowflakes. I, I like, okay, I like how they have it going all the way up. I, I don't like the pattern, but I will say it looks good because usually they were only doing the half. Yeah. So this looks great that they're doing that. Yeah. You don't like the pattern? I like it. It's like <laughs> an octagon snowflake. We got two drawers down here. I do feel like they should have had an extension here, though. Oh, uh, for sure. Yeah. We got four drawers. One, two, three. Three and four. Another cabinet. Yes, ma'am. And we got a microwave. Huge. Look how big that, that is. That is a good size microwave. That's good for your hot pockets. A three burner Furion cooktop. Yes, ma'am. And an oven. Wow. I'm always happy whenever we get an oven. Yeah, man. We've got the two way refrigerator that runs off your propane and shore power. Yes. Very and nice. And I think this is the pantry over here. For sure, for sure. Very nice. And you guys, you know what? I really like the two-tone color. I feel like it really adds separation. Right, especially you know? when it's uh, an open concept right. motorhome. And it, this is so small, but it's so spacious at oh. the same time. It's raining, Andrea. Uh-oh. Let me get this on again. And while we're getting the on again real quick, guys, uh, by the time this video's out, we will hopefully be meeting everybody at the FMCA rally in the next day or two from whenever you're watching this. Uh, Andrea and I will, me, Will, and Andrea, we will be at the Fleetwood, the Rev Group display. So that's Fleetwood, Holiday Rambler, American Coach. Come and find us. We will be in a bright orange tent. And that orange tent says, that's our rear reviews. <laughs> we are excited to meet everybody. We've never been to Wyoming, so this should be yeah, fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. And then Andrea, that's the only way to find in here. Corner bed. You guys know how we feel about it. You know, Andre and I, we're we're considering getting one of these. There's been some complications because and because I know everybody's like, Matt, when are you getting your 25R? There's been some complications. Can you believe the RV industry can be complicated <laughs> sometimes? But you guys are gonna hear me talk about this during my dislikes. But it's one of the. Uh, I'm I'm gonna mention it a little bit later. A TV can go there, and. Oh, we have storage right there. And look at that. Lots of storage up there. Very yep. nice. Held up by the double struts. Very and nice. What I like about this is even though it's a corner bed, I like that they have the windows in here like yeah, that. Yeah, double window. it does look nice and it, it makes it so you're not claustrophobic. Yeah. And you also have a privacy curtain little right privacy here. Curtain. Yep, yep. For sure. And that bed, is it comfortable? Yeah, it's it comfortable. Looks like it. so it's look small, a, though. It's a the, big mattress, though. Look at it. No, no, it's small. It's you know what I mean? Sure big, small. like, oh, like thick. thick. Yeah. 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 Perfect. And then in the bathroom, this is one of, this, this is it. This is it. You ready? In a small motor home like this, the fact that you're getting a 30 oh, by 36 shower, I'm loving it. I'm like McDonald's in here. I'm loving it. <laughs> you got this, which which doubles for an extra clothes hanger, whatever, shower dome. Very big and nice shower, so nice. It is a good size. All right, so here's the medicine cabinet here. Yes. Got a cute little sink. Yes. And cabinet under here. Something we didn't even mention, Andre, no vents in the floor. Right. Okay, so watch your step coming out of there. There is a good, a good step to get into that. Yeah, that's a pretty big step. Yeah. Okay, that's a good thing though. You know why it's a good thing? Because I couldn't find three dislikes. That might be one of the dislikes. Porcelain. Andrea. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! I mean, this is why I love this motor home. Well I mean, designed. Yeah, just, you know, th there, there's pros and cons about it, but th that's it. It is the way it is with all motor homes. And as great as it is, Andrea, and as nice as it is, it's now time we're giving you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, 
What do we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Yes. First dislike, corner bed. Okay, don't like these, never have liked them. It's a pain in the butt for the inside person. Now, you know, when Andre and I determined that we were gonna get a motor home, uh, we didn't realize, like, we just got Yuna at the same time. We didn't realize that Yuna sleeps with us now at all times. And, and here's how, here's how we have to share the bed with Yuna. Bing! Huh. That's, that, it's Yuna's bed and we're just guests Yes, on and, the bed. and that's literally me at the end. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, so this definitely is gonna be tight for two people, let alone two people in a golden retriever. Um, but still, I say that, but the way the whole floor plan is laid out, we were willing to make that sacrifice on the sleeping end of it for how smart of a design this is. But uh, you guys will hear more about that coming up a little later. So Andrea, that's number one. Dislike. Do you have a dislike? Number two? I do. Talk I to me. I will say that, um, I, I said it earlier, I really feel like there should have been an extension here. I, that That is, at least you do get some counter space. But Small yeah, kitchen counter. I gotta say, you know, it's very, very tiny and there should be an extension here. Yep, yep. I, I concur with you. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I thought that was a generator. Uh -oh. That's the guy cutting grass. I was all like, oh man, the generator's getting loud. No, that's the guy cutting grass. Okay, so that's number two this light. And so number three, we're gonna combo it, Andrea. Again, when this is my favorite motorhome. It's my favorite for a reason because there's not too many dislikes. But what we will say is that is a very high step up or step down from the shower. And we're gonna combo it with the twisty door locks on the outside. We don't like the twisty door locks. Never have, never will. But again, it's it's little things. Great, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Andrea, you ready for me to go first? Sure. This layout. Yes. The big TV, the entertainment I center. I was gonna across, say that. <laughs> across from the sofa. Everything. This is a small, small motorhome, Andrea. And the fact that the layout just works so well like this it's amazing and again it's totally worth having the corner bed in my opinion and then look at this this is what it's like when the slide outs are in uh everybody will be comfortable you don't even need to put the slide outs out and you can still use 100 percent of the motor home that's number one andrea number two okay what i like about this i love the two-tone colors in here i okay. haven't seen really anybody else doing this except integra it, it makes it feel like there is a separation. And with this being, what, 25, 26 feet? Right. It, look at that, I mean, it's just so spacious and the, the separation, it's great. Not only that, when it's an open concept yes. unit, there is no bedroom, there is no living room, there is no kitchen. It's all open in the one. That mental separation of the color yes. makes it really, really nice. So that's number two, and then Andrea, number three. Going outside, girlfriend. Oh. Is it, I don't know if it's raining anymore. Yeah, it's still drizzling. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, number three, Andrea, is going to be the outside TV, this huge power awning with LED lights, and of course, this outside kitchen. This outside kitchen is awesome. You don't get this on motorhomes, especially Class C's. So to be able to get this is super awesome and nice. And it's not even like you're sacrificing your exterior storage because you still have all that storage. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call, text, send us an email. It is Mets, RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell, or the best thing to do is go to MattsRVReviews.com and click one of those three contact me tabs. If you're in the market for a 25 28 foot motor home in a few seconds we're going to put the odyssey competitors right there and there andre is there anything you'd like to say you want this nope oh. hey everybody thank you so much for watching let us know the three things that you like about this rv and the three things that you dislike uh integra does watch all the videos you guys and they definitely are reading your comments yes um so make sure you leave feedback i hope you guys are safe and well and we look forward to seeing everybody next Week. Thanks so much for watching, and Andrea, it's this week. This week. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and Andrea, we'll see you next time.